Good morning, everybody. My name's Terry. I'm talking to you live from Austin, Texas, where the sun is hot, the uh, barbecue is sweet, and all the drinks are free. Man, you got to come out and hang out with me. We're having uh, having some good fun over here today. This is going to be a short one, but it's going to be for all of my friends out at Orange Theory Fitness. Uh, we got about 12, 1300 locations in the domestic United States, another couple hundred uh, internationally. We're in 23 countries. Uh, we're translated in four or five different languages. We opened up this business. We said, man, if we could get 50 or 100 of these things open, we'd be pretty excited. And the last 10 years have been like a rocket ship, man, from 2010 to 2020. I mean, we did some good things. We did some bad things. We made some mistakes. We made some, some good moves. But I got to tell you, it was a rocket ship headed to the sky. We shot for the moon. We landed in the stars. It was unbelievable. And then many of us know that COVID hit and the studio concept, if you didn't know this, studio concept got, got hit hardest in COVID. And um, in, in many cases, even in the gym business, the fitness industry, one out of every four gyms, fitness centers, uh, uh, wellness centers closed So 25% of the gym business actually closed during that uh, two, three year window for COVID. Pretty interesting, right? And they're still on a recovery track. Uh, Many of the big box gyms have recovered fully. So congratulations to my good friends out there in the industry that are running the big box gyms and high volume, low price pieces. But the studios are still in that recovery phase, a little bit tougher in the studios. And so my message this morning for you is I wanted to share conceptually a couple things. And this came out just recently with Orange Theory. So that's why I said my comments. But if you're in the fitness business or you're in the sales business or you're in anything, you can take these ideas and apply them to your own business in terms of selling. But uh, I just wanted to share with you in Orange Theory Fitness, just I don't know how many of you keep track of your leads, but you should if you're not. How many leads, prospects do you get in a single month and where do they come from? You know, you have internal leads and you have external leads. Your external leads are coming from outreach and they're coming from events and they're coming from marketing and advertising. And, you know, people click on the website and they they go to, uh, they, you know, we get web leads, right? And then you have your internal marketing and those, those come from your members and your referrals and your internal promotions and your internal signs signage and some of your old documentation and inviting your members to bring their friends and to try a workout for free and complimentary. In any case, if you break that down to its simplest form, uh, I'm going to just say 100 out of 100 leads right now today in Orange Theory Fitness and the network, we're getting about 50 of those leads that actually book a class, an intro. Try it out. I'm interested. We call it excite and invite, right? How do you get excited? How do you get on the phone with somebody, get them excited about the program and invite them to come take a trial? 31 of those 50 actually show up. And about 15 of those join. And then the people that didn't join, many of those leave and they go and they go online and they sign up online with about four more of those. And so I just want to give you some numbers. If you have a blank sheet of paper, you want, you'll want to write these down because these are the levers. These are the movers. These are the shakers. If you can fix these pieces, you fix your business. All right. So number one is the booking ratio at 50%, booking 50% of your leads. I would tell you that's phenomenal. In the past, in the past 10 years, we haven't had that kind of booking. So the quality of leads that we're getting are really good. So congratulations. But what happens is people book the class, but then they actually don't show. We're only getting about a 60% show ratio of everybody that's set up. And the reason that happens, if you can fix this, you need to get that up to 80, 85% show. And the way to fix that is you've got to do multiple confirmations. And so you got to confirm those appointments the next the night before, and you got to confirm them that morning. Double confirmations. And so a lot of times what happens is it sounds very pathetic when we make the confirmation call. And we say, John, it's Terry over here at Orange Theory Fitness. And I uh, just want to say, are you still coming in uh, at six? You know, I say, well, it sounds very pathetic. <laughs> and so what I'm telling you is don't do that. Uh, you've got to have a reason for the call. 
And the reason for the call is, John, it's Terry over here. I want to make sure you had directions. Or, John, it's Terry over here. I want to make sure you bring a friend in with you. That's the reason for my calls. I want you to invite a friend. The reason for my calls, I want you to don't forget a, uh, a water bottle and a sweat towel. Reason for my call is, I just want to make sure, you know, um, you know, you know how to get here and you know where we're located. But there's got to be a reason when you do a confirmation call. And the best way to do that is, you know, set your confirmation calls up at night to be directional or referral based and in the morning don't forget the water bottle and the towel but you if you do that twice if you make the phone call in the evening and then in the morning right in the morning time we open up at five o'clock uh between five and seven o'clock in the morning if you can text message people a confirmation as a friendly reminder hey john Hey, Wes, I got, uh, I'm ready for you over here at Orange Theory Fitness. We got a treadmill over here with your name on it. I can't wait to see you at 845. Wow. Nice little message. So you want to fix those pieces and parts. What I'm suggesting is um, you've got to fix your confirmations. The other way we do it is also getting a credit card and collecting a credit card because it is a reservation-based business. Just like when you go to get a massage, you have to reserve a massage, you gotta reserve a facial, you gotta reserve a spot. There are only 12 spots or 24 spots. You need to reserve one, so we need to hold a credit card. If you show up, it's complimentary. But if you don't show up, you took a spot, I've gotta charge you the $28 drop-in fee. And a lot of you there at Orange Theory Fitness don't like to charge that 28 bucks, but I'm telling you, charge it, because it's the best way to get somebody to call you back. Said, why'd you charge my card? I said, because you had a reservation, right? So that happens to me, right? I have checkouts at hotel. If I don't check out at a certain time or I don't get a late checkout, they charge me for another half a day at that hotel. This is a business, and that's why we run it like a business. The next one, uh, the third piece, so there's the number of leads, there is the amount that's booking, that's called the booking ratio, your show ratio, that's 60%, how to get it up to 80%, I just told you, get the credit card and do the confirmations, and number uh, three, or the next one, I guess, is your closing ratio. Close, 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 right? Are you a closer? Are you a poser, right? So sometimes people think, man, I did the best presentation and man, I got the guy to come in and work out and oh my word, she came in and she loved the workout. And then what they did is they walk him right to the door and I said, thank you very much and we'll see you when we see you. And they walk him right out the, <laughs> out the exit. So again, remember what the objective of the business is, is we are a subscription-based business. And in a subscription-based business, we are in the business of subscribing people to sign up. So make sure that you're actively working on that. And I want to tell you three things that can help you with closing. Number one, in our fitness business, if you're closing at the front desk, remind you to move that into the studio where it's quiet and there are less distractions. Number two, if you're not using the 30-day money-back guarantee, use the 30-day money-back guarantee. It will improve your closing by 10% if used correctly and used at the beginning of the price presentation. Not when somebody's ready to walk out the door, but right at the very beginning. I'm just telling you. When they try to run out the door and you say, by the way, I'll give you 30 days, you know, that's just a little bit too salesy. It's a little bit too car salesy. Add value and say, one of the things we offer at our studios, Mrs. Jones, is an opportunity for you to try it out for 30 days before you make a full commitment. It's a two-way street. You got to work out three times a week or 12 times in the month. Anybody can do that. That's twice on the weekdays and one on the weekend, they, uh, one on the weekends. Your commitment is to make the commitment to show up. You can do that, right? And they say yes. Say our commitment is to provide you with a great coach, a great workout, a great template, uh, get the results that you're looking for, and you get the best of both worlds. The best of both worlds is you get to start on your fitness program, and if you are not completely satisfied uh, for any reason, the treadmills don't go as fast as you want, the weights aren't heavy enough, you didn't like the coach, the music playlist wasn't exactly right, or you don't like the color orange. Man, I will cut a check and give you your money back. And what's most important, John or Mrs. Jones, whoever your prospect is, name is, you don't have to make your final decision today. You don't have to make your final decision today. Isn't that great? Wouldn't you like to try something out for 30 days? Wouldn't you like to try the car for 30 days? Wouldn't you like to try the apartment for 30 days and then figure out if that's really the right one for you? 
And finally, the last piece about closing is you've got to role play. You've got to take a look and you've got to know that there are five basic fundamental uh, reasons why people don't get signed up. Many times they say they want to think about it. Many times they say it's the price. Uh, it costs too much. Many times they say they need to check with their spouse. Many times they say they're not ready to make the commitment. And many times right now, a lot of people are saying, I want to look around or I want to shop around. What that means is they're looking for value for the dollar, right? When people say they want to shop around, what they're really looking at is, can I get something else that's equal to what you're offering at a better value? The value proposition. The value proposition is something, an offer that is so ridiculous that they can't say no. That's what a great value proposition is. It is just unbelievable. In any case, what I would suggest is that you understand those five closes. You can go back through my podcast and look at some of the titles. I have 52 ways to close the sale. I broke that up into two separate podcasts, but go back and listen to some of that. Uh, you can go to uh, anything online. You can go to YouTube, Closing the Sale, go to uh, uh, Grant Cardone, go to, uh, you know, all, all kinds of folks out there have different ways to close the sale. But I'm just telling you, the only way to get better at closing the sale is to practice. Practice, practice, practice on closing the sale. And so, again, today what I want to let you know is how do you improve net membership? How do you improve your sales numbers? Number one, you got to get more leads. You've got to get more leads. You've got to reverse engineer your program and say, if I want 100 new members and 50% of those, you know, you, you just have to reverse it and say, how many can I close? If you get 100 new members uh, and you close at 50%, that means you need to get in front of 200 people. If you have a... Uh, 50% show ratio, then you need to get uh, 400 appointments. 400 appointments get you 200 people to show up. 50% closing gets you 100 new joins. Well, you say, well, Terry, how many leads do I need then? Well, then you reverse engineer that. If you need 400 appointments and you get one appointment for every 10 phone calls, you need 4,000 appointments. You say, oh my word, 4,000. I'm sorry, 4,000 leads, not 4,000 appointments, 4,000 leads. Where in the world am I going to get that? Well, you break that down by the number of salespeople that you have, and you break that down by the day, and how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. How do you eat an apple? One bite at a time. Break it down to its simplest form, and you work away, chip away, chip away, until you can succeed. In general, I, this is more content driven driven this morning than uh, sizzle, a little more steak than the sizzle this morning, but I wanted to give you a path way to increase sales. Number one, just buy the numbers, buy the book of business, get more leads, improve your show ratio, and do a better job at closing. Those three pieces, along with practicing and role playing and warming up every single day by every single person, every single sales associate, every single coach, every single manager and head coach, Practice, 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 warm up, improve those th three things, and I'm telling you, your numbers will go up. My name's Terry. I'm your friend. Go get them.